morning, Bulldogs. For lunch today, we have drum roll, please. Thai meatballs. <laughs> Tomorrow we have a corn dog. Next week we have Bosco sticks on Monday, chicken drumsticks on Tuesday, and pulled pork on Wednesday. Lunch menus for February will be posted outside the Commons after Wednesday, so check those out for Thursday's menu. We have one week left of the Beyond Time Challenge, and based on last week's tardy counts, the seniors are currently in the lead with 46. The challenge is running through February 1st, so there is still time to take the top spot and earn your grade level in Ice Cream Party and Bulldog Cup points. Winter dance tickets will also be raffled off for students with zero tardies during the challenge. Don't let these rewards pass you by. Hey juniors, the SAT is scheduled for April 10th and will be here before we know it. Get a jump start on your test prep and sign up for Grant's SAT prep class. The class is $80 and includes a copy of the official SAT study guide and is run by qualified teachers who are testing experts. The deadline to register is January 31st and spots are filled on the first come first serve basis. Check the grant website for more information. The boosters need your help covering shifts in the concession stand. Check the announcements for their sign up link and volunteer today. As you know, we sent Zach Langhoff and Miles Foreman off in true Bulldog fashion this week for their ILMEA All-State performance. They are scheduled to perform in Peoria Saturday afternoon with the Honors Chorus. If you are interested in attending their performance, check out ILMEA's All-State info online. The Talking Bulldogs competed at the DGS Varsity Invitational last week and brought home several top placements. Congratulations to our semifinalists, Erin Neweem and Abby Sofsky for humorous duet acting and Jackie Benefeld for humorous interpretation. Our next ends, Jackie Benefeld, who took second in original comedy, and Sammy Cruz, who took third in prose reading. And our finalist, Sammy Cruz, who took fifth in dramatic interpretation. Did you buy your entry for Pi a teacher? Sales end today and you don't want to miss this opportunity. Honestly, how often are teachers willing to be pied in front of our entire school? Make sure to stop by the bookstore before school ends. The sophomore class console is selling chocolate covered pretzel rods for Valentine's Day and they're only $1. Stop by the bookstore next week to purchase your crush or bestie a Valentine's Day treat. Council members will also be in the comments on Wednesday for sales. Treats will be delivered during team on February 13th. Table Tennis is hosting a tournament on Monday, January 29th and invites all interested Bulldogs to participate. Join them after school on Monday and reach out to Mr. Anderson in the Science Department with any questions. The Canine Connections Club is looking for your help in preparing for their FIDO Festival adoption and fundraising event. If you would like to contribute or create a donation item for their raffle basket sales, talk to Mrs. Trefethick in Student Services. The girls bowling program hosted Round Lake last week and Varsity picked up 2,554 pins along with another NLCC win. On Tuesday, they went up against Lakes for their final NLCC match. Our Bulldogs took down the Eagles and secured their spot as NLCC champions. The program will be competing against the NLCC tomorrow for the annual conference invitational and then Varsity is turning all their attention to regionals. Good luck tomorrow, Bulldogs. Seth Sider competed at the Warren sectional over the weekend and had a good day on the lanes, averaging 193. While he didn't advance to state, Seth gained a lot of experience from his first sectional, and as the youngest GCHS sectional competitor we've ever had, he has an exciting three years ahead of him with the program. The boys basketball program took a trip to Lakes last week, and Varsity pushed the Eagles until the end. Although we came up short in the final seconds, our Bulldogs played a strong and tough game. Sophomore and freshman B came away with wins that night, beating Lakes 54 to 46 and 42 to 21. This week, they hosted North Chicago and added another program sweep to their season record. Varsity took down the Warhawks 59 to 51. Sophomores won 69 to 35, and freshmen won 57 to 24. Our varsity cheer team is hitting the road for sectionals this Saturday. They will be competing at Dundee Crown at 9.32 a.m. and awards are scheduled for 10.40 a.m. Tickets for sectionals can be purchased on GoFan and are $7. Check the Athletics Twitter for a ticket link and make your way to Dundee Crown to cheer them on. Our varsity dance team is heading to Bloomington for their state performance. <laughs> they are scheduled to take the floor tomorrow at 10.43 a.m. and awards will take place around 2.30 to 2.45 p.m. Make sure to wish them the best of luck. The Rust Lake program hosted two Lake County Invitationals last week and ended the weekend with two Lake County champs, Ayani and Vince Jasinski. Congratulations on earning the top spot in your weight classes. 
After they take on Lakes tonight, our girls wrestling squad is heading to Conant High School for regionals. If you are interested in girls soccer, make sure to join the program for off-season training every Tuesday and Thursday after school. Meet in room 290 and get your spring season started early. Lacrosse is holding an open gym on Sunday from 8 to 9 a.m. in the Fieldhouse. If you're planning on playing this spring or want to see what lacrosse is all about, join Coach Olsen this weekend. Boys Volleyball is holding an open gym Sunday afternoon from 3 to 5 p.m. in the Fieldhouse. Reach out to Coach Gazowski or Sullivan with any questions. Applications for the 2023-24 All-State Academic Team are available. If you are a senior who excels in the field, in the classroom, and in the community, stop by the athletic office to learn more and grab an application. Reach out to Ross with any questions. Today, the wrestling program is heading to Lakes for an NLCC battle. Tomorrow, the girls' bowling program is competing against the entire NLCC. Our varsity girls' wrestling squad is competing at Conat for regionals. Girls' basketball is heading to Lake Forest, and boys' basketball is hosting Grays Lake Central. On Saturday, cheer is competing at Dundee Crown for sectionals, girls basketball is heading to Wakanda for a battle of the Bulldogs, and it's day two of girls wrestling regionals. Good luck to all our Bulldogs competing this weekend. You got this. Seniors, grant community scholarship applications close on January 31st. There are a variety of scholarships available, so don't miss out on potential free money. Reach out to Mrs. Wilhelm or stop by Student Services with any questions. Hey seniors, don't forget to complete the FAFSA and reach out to your counselor if you have any questions. The College and Career Center is highlighting careers and this week is all about respiratory therapists. Did you know the average salary for respiratory therapists is $62,000 and you can choose between a two-year associate's degree or a four-year bachelor's degree? For similar careers and salaries or general career questions, reach out to Ms. Mazura. Well, that's all from us this week. Have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. And, and remember, remember to keep it red, Bulldogs. Bulldogs.